everybody. This is your host, Huge Pop, from the Huge Pop Wrestling Podcast on a Pops World Order Wednesday. Tuesday. We are here with Cody to my right, Big B Bryson over there, Reek Reek the baby face, and Nikki <laughs> D. Tonight we're going to be talking about SmackDown and what Triple H said, the WrestleMania 40 conference, and what Seth Rollins and whoever wanted to talk on the Raw last night, talking about heading towards WrestleMania. So we're here. Uh, Rico wanted to talk about SmackDown. So, what part of SmackDown do you want to talk about, Rico? What well, stuff? I mean, what everybody was talking about when it first, you know, Triple H comes out. I mean, he doesn't even hold back. He just straight attacks The Rock. I mean, there's this Roman and The Rock, but if you notice, it was mostly The Rock. And to me, like, I, I guess just the, the fan inside of me, um, Nikki D, we had talked about this earlier. I was like, I. To me, I just was like, man, this was like a buildup between Triple H and The Rock. Although we know Triple H, you know, retired because he had heart problems. But mm-hmm. I, if you remember, like a couple years ago, they were trying to do a buildup, but The Rock's schedule was too busy. Yep. And now he's available. Now I'm just like, it, it's kind of just weird. Maybe they're trying to take attention away from Vince and all, everything going on, but. Uh, what do you guys think on that one? Because that one's just to me that was almost like a build up for a match to happen. So it takes away the attention of Rock going against Roman. Yeah, I think that it it was it might be a chance for them to finish something that they started a few years ago, uh, and it's amazing that the Rock is if he can cl- keep his schedule clear because he's so busy. But it's like if the stars align, maybe they're just trying to do that. And Triple H against probably doctors' orders and everybody else with you know with the, the heart issue and the heart scare that he had, um, maybe he'll go ahead and do it. It's just to to finish what they were trying to do years ago. Um, that's to me personally. I don't even know if it's to pull the attention away from because you have to have the event anyway. You know, you still have a, a two night WrestleMania event. It's still going to be watched by half the planet. So um, I, I think that would just be something else really cool to have. You know, you have your different type of matches at WrestleMania. You know, you've got your title matches, you've got your story matches, and you've got like these these <laughs> matches like that. You know, two guys that have that came up at the same time. Um they could clash, you know, and, and that could be kind of like how they finish their story. So I, as a fan, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Exactly. You know, this is something we wanted to see years ago. It just never happened. <coughs> well, I think they, they, I think they uh, set planted the seed the night of the, the 40 WrestleMania 40 conference in the, in the high, all Iowa where, where um, Cody just showed that picture of, Rock said to Triple H, you need to fix this. Mm-hmm. Fix or we'll this. fix it. Or we'll fix it. Well, yeah. Triple H came out, and he's like, and I think, I can't remember, I, I have to go back and listen to it again, but Triple H said something as the camera zoomed away from him, then he shows up on SmackDown, and Triple H ain't going to take nothing from The Rock. I think no. it's a good build, <laughs> I think, but you're not going to see Triple H in the ring, for sure. He has a pacemaker. There's no way he's going to be yeah. in the ring. Um, but I have a feeling, and that's why I, I was trying to tell my I, that's why I tried to tell my brother. My brother wouldn't listen. But that's all right. I think WWE, Triple H, and even started with Vince. They, have, they worked themselves into a big problem. When they brought Cody Rhodes over two years ago and didn't do it then. And put him in angles with the Usos and the Sami Zayn's and then all this other crap with Kevin Owens, blah, blah, blah. Now you're trying to finish the story in a hurry. And it's not going to happen. Now they got too many elements out there. And how there's too much. There's too much stuff going on. You got to, I don't think there's enough. I don't think they'll finish the story on WrestleMania. But well, do you think that it's, there's so much hmm. other stuff going on? So you don't think that he's going to finish the story? Like other things are being thrown out there just to lead you off that path. I I said this to my brother. Someone, whether whether this be me or you four, 
and for the rest of the universe, the wrestling universe, we're going to get swerved. This is going to be one hell. We're going to have one hell of an upset group of people. WrestleMania night two at the end. I'm. Mm. Not, I'm now, when you say group of people, Scott, do you mean like Cody fans or Roman fans? Or do you mean the audience in general that night? The audience in general that night. Okay, good. Because I I want to play devil's advocate for because I know you, you're about the numbers. You want Roman to get that second all time title ring. WWE wants them to get that. that, that come on, don't be don't play stupid because hello, if you have Roman Reigns, you can say Roman Reigns beat Hulk Hogan. Boom! That's gonna make. They're not gonna. That's what I'm saying. You can. They got themselves into such a bind right now. You have to let him beat Hogan. You have to. Do they know? No, they don't. I don't think they have to let him beat no, Hogan they don't have because to, he's man. demented. He's cemented. And and if you just look at the way the crowd reacts, like he was, even when the Rock was out there before the Rock pulled that swerve and he started going heel. Um, you know, when there was that potential, like where the rock was kind of inserting himself into the match and they were, the, the fans were booing him, dude, they were all popping for Roman. Like he's there, he's there. And I, I'm, I'm of the mindset that they're going to finish the story because Cody is somehow, I didn't think they could do it after the build up for last year, but he is still so over. Mm -hmm. And I think mm -hmm. it's perfect. It's perfect because those two will collide. You get you know, round two, and it's just perfect. Like, I had, I'm shocked that they were able to keep the momentum for a whole other year. It's, I think it's, I think they make a big mistake if they don't do it at no, Mania. That's oh. what I was uh, thinking is that oh. it, it's definitely going to finish the story because, uh, like Triple H said last year, WrestleMania, you know, this is just the beginning of the chapter. You know, the book's not finished yet. Mm -hmm. We have more of the story to tell. So we take that whole year like they used to do, like build up a whole year of WrestleMania match. Just yeah. get you all hyped for it. And then yeah. boom, let it happen. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, I have I have a plethora of scenarios, but I got I got a I got a top five of scenarios that could happen. Mm -hmm. So scenario number five is we want Rock versus Triple H, but we know it's not going to happen because Triple H has the pacemaker. So instead, substitute it one from each party. Rock chooses Jacob Fatu. Triple H chooses Braun Breaker. WrestleMania 40. Oh. Um, I think it might be kind of a squash match. I don't. I think that'd be a great match. That would be a good match, actually. It wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be a bad match. Uh, I, I, I personally think Braun would just like destroy within about five minutes and be over. But let, let me ask you guys this: Do you really think if if physically he passed them all the tests, Triple H would not say no? Pacemaker. I think Triple no? H would say no. Yeah, I think, I, I think no. Triple H would say no regardless. He he's now at the point where he wants to be in the creative aspect of everything and not be front stage, front and center stage. Yeah. No, makes sense. Um, scenario Probably, number four. Yeah, scenario number four. Both night main events. Rock versus Seth for the World Heavyweight Championship. Don't know how they do it now with the chamber, but so on and so forth. Rock can insert himself last minute or challenge the winner and be like, okay, I'm going to WrestleMania. And Roman versus Cody, where Roman loses, Rock wins, and then Rock becomes the leader of the bloodline, and Roman goes second fiddle. Now, see, that one I could go, because I was actually saying, thinking to myself, I, I got a gut feeling it's, you know, because what happened at the kickoff, Rock versus Seth and mm -hmm. Cody versus Roman. Yeah. Scenario number three, the tag match opens night one, Cody versus Roman night two. Mm. Um, what about well, – go ahead with your scenarios, and I'll continue what I'm going to say. Scenario what was the tag match in that scenario? The tag match is Roman Rock night one versus Seth Cody. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Scenario number two. Cody wins, but with a series of run-ins. I'm going to Vince Russo this motherfucker. <laughs> so you have Jacob Fatu in the bloodline now with Jimmy and uh, Solo. 
Mm -hmm. Jacob Fatu goes in for the first run in and out comes John Cena to save Cody. Hmm. If I have to see John Cena on my TV again. Hold on. It gets better, Scott. It does get better. Yeah, it's going to get better. So don't, don't say better, Baron Corbin. Better. He's going to lose it. No, no. So I, who did I say? Jacob comes in first. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So Jacob comes in first. Cena takes out Jacob. Solo comes in. Or no, Jimmy comes in. And then you hear Real American for Hulk Hogan. And then he gets he comes down on four wheeler bus whatever cart on the big ass stage so he can do the run in, mm -hmm. takes out Solo, or takes out Jimmy. Then Solo runs in, and then you hear the glass break, and Austin comes down on the four wheeler. We got a bunch of heart, heart we got a bunch of heart patients in the ring doing what? <laughs> so and then Rock's just Rock's just there getting all pissed off because all three of these guys have faced Rocket Mania and lost. So now they're helping Cody to piss off Rock and take everything away from Reigns and Rock. And it would also solidify Cody as the new face of the company when the last three faces come in and fucking help the baby face. Mm, to kind of put him over. Hmm. Right. More over than he already is, but... Yeah, yeah. And then Cody hits one, two, three, four, five, six, however many crossroads it needs to put away Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. And Rock just sits there and goes, Roman, this was supposed to be your time. You lost. You didn't. I'm now the hell. I'm going to be now the tribal chief and take over. Or, and this is my favorite scenario, to piss off 60,000 fans in attendance. Ten minutes left of WrestleMania night two. People are like, how are we going to do Cody Roman? Entrances come out. Everything's going on. Bell doesn't ring. The bell will not ring. The main event of night two goes to a no contest. It is an angle till SummerSlam. Yeah, you want to talk about pissing some people. Right? All right. Wow. wow. Actually, but, that wow. Would be... Okay. Wow. So, if that angle, that scenario, number one, it should be the number one scenario. And I'm going to, so my question to you four, you guys, you four, I asked my brother this. He couldn't give me an answer. Why does Cody Rhodes, why does Cody Rhodes need to win at WrestleMania? Why can't it? Why are we all up in a bunch of our panties all in a bunch? Because he might lose. Why does he have to win at WrestleMania? Okay. He doesn't have to win at WrestleMania. It's just because it's the, the greatest stage of all. So that's where everybody wants him to win it. Because that's where he faced Roman and lost. So it's kind of his <laughs> comeback and just beat him. Yeah, yeah I say he has to. to. Yeah, I say he has to. Then why have him win the Rumble again? Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's just, why have him win the Rumble if he's not going to finish the story at WrestleMania? And you WrestleMania. Newsflash. Huh? Yeah, no, news the only reason why he won at, at Rumble is because CM Punk got hurt. Yes. No. That is yeah, why. No. That is why. No. No, will not win. At I, no, I gotta no, go. no, I will no, never no, agree with that, dude. No, CM Punk was not winning that Royal Rumble. Okay, CM Punk okay. was but not yes. winning that Punk Royal was Rumble. Punk was he was not gonna win that. There is no because, way because they, okay. they, they, so already, they already had no, why not? No, because, because the way that it worked out was you could have him. Cody win and CM Punk would have been like the second one in there, which is kind of what we talked about pre Rumble. And then he could challenge Seth Rollins and they could have their feud and they could fight for the belt. That would make way more sense than having, you know, CM Punk win the Rumble and Cody not winning it. That would have been horrible. Horrible. Okay. So in quote unquote kayfabe land, it was the only way that made sense. Punk winning the Rumble would be full circle. Walked out the night after in 2013 or 2014, it would be full circle that for him to win the Royal Rumble and then challenge Seth Rollins for a main event spot at WrestleMania because he that was that was his story. He needed to finish to 
have his finally finally have his main event match. Mm-hmm. Now, Cody, you could have done what they're doing now. Qualify for the chamber, chamber. Challenge Roman. That one would have been fine. I would have had no issue with it. But I'm glad it didn't because now we got this. And it's making us talk and having a whole different scenario. And it's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's like Edge coming back. When Edge came back, that was unbelievable. But Edge didn't win the Rumble when he showed up and got that amazing pop and he lasted as long as he did. Right. Be- because he won the it, just, it didn't make sense, but that was part for him to come back, you know, after all that time of being off and, and his injury and everything. And it was like, wow, you know, it's like, to me, that would have even made more. Th- I was sitting there like, dang, edge could do this edge could win. But, um, yeah, I, I like the way they did it. Personally. I like the way they did it. I thought it, it was Cody that would make, the most sense yeah. that to me personally that would make the most sense and he's on fire right now he hasn't lost any steam i thought they were going to kill his momentum when he didn't go over last year at wrestlemania and instead he's still going it's it's even better that's just my opinion i yeah. i just felt like that was the best way to do it and you could have because you have two belts right so you know you've got the other bu- belt that seth rollins has and they could do whatever they want. They could work out any scenario. And him and Punk were already kind of feuding with each other. Mm-hmm. So, so we're talking. Let's talk about Seth. It. Let's talk about Seth Rollins' belt. Okay. Why? Why? Why do we? Why do we feel that that belt is less than Roman Reigns' belt? It's in my opinion. Yeah. In my opinion, that belt means just as much. To, as a champion, no, he's not a paper champion. No, no, yeah, no, no. he's not a paper no. champion. No, I, I'm disagreeing. Not a paper with you. champion. That belt means shit. <laughs> why not? You want to know why that belt means shit? It's the third world title out of two belts. There you go. That's why. Think about that. It's the That's third why. world title out of Man, two belts. Man, we don't have any That's respect. That's why. For Seth. we don't have any respect. No, for Seth. it has hey. nothing to do with Seth. It has nothing to do with Seth. No. Seth is an incredible talent, but that I belt means wrestling. nothing. That belt doesn't mean anything. The the only belts that matter are the unified ones that Roman's wearing. That's that's it. So you're telling me the belt that matters is a belt that's what uh, defended every six months. Okay. Yeah, the belt matters. I'm not saying the fact that he's he's there part time. It's the fact that you're you're talking about the titles, not the person carrying them, right? Yes, just so we, if we if we take it, we separate the title from the individual holding it. He has two titles. Those are more important than the one that Seth has, regardless of who's holding them. That's that. Yeah. I mean, that's just how I see it. That's okay. now. Also, you have to look at it this way: Roman Reigns has had that specific title for maybe five months that specific one the one with the gold background Mm -hmm. they're counting the entire lineage for when he won the blue universal the wwe championship at wrestlemania 38 and now they're counting all three titles together as one lineage one reign for just about four years that alone is pretty damn impressive yes didn't defend it, but my argument always comes back up with Brock Lesnar. When he had the world title and was the part-timer world champion, every time Lesnar showed up on TV, it was special. Every Mm -hmm. time Reigns shows up on TV, it's special. Triple H always says, the guy doesn't make the title, or no, the title doesn't make the guy, the guy makes the title. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seth Rollins, excellent worker. Reigns literally put it best. That is the second place tournament bracket championship. It's all it is. Yep. And everyone that fought for that championship, Reigns did defeat. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Facts. Yeah. So, yeah. Not, just, not, not, not to I, change the topic. I disagree, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I, disagree, no, I, I disagree with you can't, you can't not put no value in that belt. There's value in that belt. Sorry. Other than that, okay, let's not have Monday Night Raw then. Let's take Monday Night Raw off the off the off the TV, which they should. Three oh, hours they worth. will in October. 
because they don't have a deal in place between October and January when they go to Netflix. I'm just saying, what's <laughs> the be a point? Whole four months. <laughs> what's the point? I mean, why have that title then? If that's the, uh, I mean, that means oh, something. That, that they did it just because Raw because Raw needed a champion and Roman SmackDown. That's why they did it. That's that's Fox why they did it. Fox That's why they Roman. kept bringing the world championship back out of retirement when, like they used to do in the past. Yep. Just, they would like retire it and then bring the world title back out. That world title was important, yes, but they oh. would just bring it back out when you needed a champion on on one of the flagship. You know, like one of the ones that didn't have a title, either SmackDown or Raw. That's why they did it. I personally think that title's worth something. I think it's. Uh, it should be not acknowledged as a title, not a second place title, as a title. And I think too many of us fans don't acknowledge it as a valuable title. And okay, just just so we just so we're clear, who has challenged for that title? AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, mm -hmm. Jinder Mahal, which by the way was only after a two week build. Mm -hmm. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Oh, and because Tony Khan was on Coke and went on fucking Twitter. Um, Drew McIntyre. Finn Balor, I do believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a lot of big names going after Seth. Not to mention, they didn't really prop them up to be challengers at the time when they were challenging for the belt. The only Every one that time had a good that, build was Finn because of the history yeah. of those two. Yeah, yeah, that one made sense for SummerSlam. But every yeah. time Roman has had a challenger, they built that challenger up either organically or pushed heavily by the machine. Mm -hmm. well, these are facts. <clears throat> so uh, Sorry, I was going to talk Rico. about Cody's uh, second scenario there with the um, people interrupting the match. <laughs> so. Uh, no, I, I actually no. My that mind was, was going on that last night. Though. I was thinking about that. Was uh, um, so solo, solo yep. comes, tries getting in, and Seth stops him. And then you have uh, yeah, because if you watch Monday Night Raw, you you know I'm not going to spoil it. For, well, it's already happened. It's Seth's already, already said. Yeah, Seth's already said he's going to be in his corner. And then you got a. Uh, and if Jimmy comes out, Jay's going to come out and stop him. Yeah. Okay, so those two actually work in kayfabe. Yeah, I can say that. That's right. I feel like those two will stop that one. I just, I just obviously seen a Hogan and Stone Cold coming out there. Oh, come on. You know it would be great, though. You know how many <laughs> different Road Warrior pops there would be? Everybody would lose their goddamn minds. That would be crazy. As you a fan, that would be awesome to see, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that would literally be NWO versus DX all over again. Yeah, it would. That's why I said that was very Vince Russo. <laughs> that that <laughs> scenario, very much so. But no, so because uh, with Seth, I, I, I wish, and this is just the the wishness out of me. I I know it can never happen or it won't happen, but for the life of me, I would just love love to see Moxley show up, but it's not going to happen. Mm. Just because Seth was talking about, I will be your shield that night. I will be your brother. I was like, oh, B money, you go ahead and put your thumb back up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to steal a line from Jim Cornette, that stone cold cosplay plumber, Um, he is just... <laughs> He, I cannot understand why people like him now. When he was Dean Ambrose, I understand it. I, I, mm -hmm. I can understand it. He was he was good. Now it's deathmatch indie garbage bullshit, and he's bleeding every single night. Yep. Why? And I'm gonna get myself off this show, and I'll go. I'll watch you guys because you're trashing some great. Great talent. Yeah, yeah. Moxley, oh, he's just I, I, I going would back to what Moxley, he did. man. I like Moxley, ah. and he does good. He does Mox, good. I love Mox. I love Mox. Not now, though. He's just Mox. doing the crap that he did before. That Those deathmatch things, that's that's the crap that he did before. 
But then when you have to get on there and you need, like, you actually have to work a match in the ring, like, like somebody who does the hardcore stuff, the hardcore matches, some of them don't always transition to, like, not everybody's a Mick Foley, you know, because Mick Foley was just uber talented. You know, he could do the hardcore matches, but then he had, like, these great ideas and he had a mind and, and he actually could work. Not everybody could do that. And Moxley's just like, I, he's, he's for everything I thought of him when he was in the shield. Like if you compare him to Roman and Seth now, he's. Mm -mm. No. Rico. Rico. I, I get that, but yeah. What's up B? Uh, you mentioned Moxley. It got me thinking about another scenario that are more than likely not going to happen but i would i would love some of all these guys coming out what if mjf comes out and helps cody Ooh. somehow and just and beats roman and then and then I mjf would not and roman be opposed to that at all. i would not be opposed at all to that <laughs> i would jump well, out of my seat that is my favorite right. now. that's my favorite right now besides uh seth and cody mjf mm -hmm. is my, i'd be okay with is, that I'd be fine with that too. That would but be sweet. The go the hop back on the Moxley thing real quick. The the reason I don't like Moxley, it's going to be the dumbest reason possible. I guarantee it. I, when I saw him come down at Double or Nothing, I'm like, okay, they literally just recreated Scott Hall coming down. Still a good get. Him going after Kenny Omega, and then that lights out match. I was like, no. This this was dumb. There was no need for this. It was it was worse than indie backyard garbage. Yeah. And then when they had the other match with the exploding ring, I'm like, okay, how are they gonna pull this off? And then it's sparklers and smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking really? <laughs> yeah. What is and that? You had you had matches like that with like Terry Funk and Mick Foley where the ring actually exploded. Yep. Yeah, but that it, stuff is just like it, but, it's but is that. is it Moxley's fault? You gotta he, Moxley's not back there going, okay, I'm gonna have sparklers in my match because I suck and I'm gonna do this because I suck and I'm gonna do that. No, it's the writers that are doing this. Moxley is phenomenal. Hold on, hold on. A AEW doesn't have writers. Well, but B Moxley they have, that's right. They get these ideas from the workers or from their um That was my next thing. Yeah, their e EVPs. The one person in that match was practically Tony Khan's second in command at the at the time and what? had all the way all the ways to be like Give me but, money. Give me reasons Moxley. to explode the ring. It no, I'm not saying Moxley. I'm saying Omega. That's yeah. fine. But mm -hmm. we're here bashing Moxley on that. He's not a good talent. He's not a good worker, but he is. Oh, no. Okay, if you? he's in a normal match, a normal match with no blood and actually does wrestling, pro wrestling, yeah. fine. I can deal with it. But mm -hmm. once it starts bleeding every match, doing the hokey bullshit spots, mm -hmm. <laughs> he literally looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin if he gained a shitload of weight. It, it's bad. He looks bad. He like physically, he doesn't look good. He looks like he's old and like doesn't want to be there anymore. Yep. He's doing garbage death spot matches when he, I don't know, almost died trying to train back to come back to WWE. So why? That's what I'm trying to get at. It's like, why Why do people like, I don't know, 40-year-old men doing death-defying barbed wire spots and fucking 20-year-olds breaking their ankles through fucking four tables off a fucking 50-foot ladder for a Canadian destroyer? Yeah. Well, Jeff like would like a word. The same, re the same reason why they're going to put they put the, um, the EVPs in the in Sting's last match. Why? That's That's stupid. I mean, Sting doesn't need to be in a match like that. I mean, no. we're talking about, but that what I'm saying is, I'm saying Moxley, yes, is in the match. Yes, Moxley, Moxley but Moxley doesn't call all his shots. There's no well, way. Well, maybe he, calls he should. Well, maybe yeah. he should. Yeah, because if you look at, see, 
Yeah, but if you look at the time that CM Punk was there, CM Punk wasn't doing stupid crap. CM Punk was more CM Punk. He he that's why he was the biggest draw for that company because he came in, he was like, let's do stuff that makes sense. Instead of all of this kill yourself for just one pop. Let's let's have story. Let's do something. And then eventually the other people there were like, mm, we don't like that. You know, they didn't want to listen to him. But he was right. But also different CM Punk will open his mouth and say what he feels and not shut up about it. And he's going to let you know. No, mm -hmm. I don't think so. If We're, that press conference told you anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Moxley won't speak. Moxley won't step up. Moxley loves what he does. Moxley do loves the work. So I just don't see. Fine. I don't see. Yeah. He's a, I don't think he's a horrible wrestler like you guys yeah, are all making all. him out to be. No, no. no he's a no. horrible indie garbage wrestler. Yes, he right now. Horrible. If he's a pro wrestler and actually does decent, like, good spots that mm -hmm. go from hold to move the hold or brawl without having any weaponry or needing to bleed, he's fine. So, right. Cody, so Cody, answer this question then. Is that his fault? If he likes doing the deathmatch stuff, yes. No, you're, you're avoiding the question. I did it. That was literally the answer. He he goes to work for AEW. Yes. He doesn't walk in and go, hey, I'm going to I want to bleed tonight. I want to die through 50 tables of um, barbed wire. No, I they, guarantee you he does. He so? does. Those are his I'm, roots. That's that crap he did with um well, what was that one dude's name? That heart guy. Like they did all that crazy stuff together okay. before he before he was pulled in by WWE and they turned him into just like a regular in ring hold for hold wrestler. Um, he loves that stuff. He gets off on that stuff. That's him. That also, I believe that's him. Also at a media conference with Daniel Bryan, he Daniel Bryan said, or Bryan Danielson, if you want to be a jackass, if that's how I how I know him. Um Brian Danielson has said that him and Moxley like doing this stuff. This is our input. And I'm like, no, not you. You're an actual good wrestler. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Oh yeah, yep. Brian Daniels here, man. Technical wrestling, he is freaking awesome. And and so uh -huh. is Moxley. They both do good technical. Yep. Like the, their match that they had at Revolution before William Regal came in. That was a good match. Did it need to be a little bit bloody? Not really, but it added to it. Mm -hmm. But when you're doing blood spots or deathmatch spots for the sake of deathmatch spots and have no rhyme or reason to them, that's when I start getting pissy. Exactly. Yep. So let's move on to the next one there, Captain. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> so, so what do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> I hate that phrase. I hate <laughs> that. I've heard it for two years. Um, well, just, we've also heard acknowledge me for the past, what, four years, three and a half. Yep, you're right. I, that got over. <laughs> I think, I really honestly think, um, if he wins, if Cody wins, it's not, he won't win the belt. He won't, if he wins. So you're saying he's going to win by DQ or count out? Yes, sir. Okay. Because, because, of, that. because of everything that we've already discussed on this podcast, he will win. But the story, obviously, the, the belt means something. Mm -hmm. The story won't be done. Because what is WWE getting right now? Lots of this. Lots of money for this. Lots of heat. Lots of everything. They can go on for a long time. They can go into SummerSlam for this. But he'll he'll win the title. He'll win the match. But there will be a, a, a bunch of stuff happening. Like, to help Cody Rhodes, to help... Uh, Roman Reigns. There's going to be so much more to talk about with angles. You have Seth Rollins that said he was going to be there. I have a feeling that day one's going to be Jimmy and Jay, but just like brothers, after you fight, what happens when you fight somebody in high school? Yeah. It seems like you're the best friend next, yep, the next yep. day. You get along. Okay, so you're going to have Jimmy and Jay at WrestleMania day one. Got that. So you got there, and I say Jay's going to beat Jimmy. Put Jimmy in his place. 
They're mm-hmm. gonna show up because they got rock in their ear, and they got solo. They got fought too. They got the whole big because everybody's gonna be there for that big event. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Jimmy's gonna be Jay's gonna be down there. He's gonna be going. Oh shoot, I really want. I want. I want to help Ro- uh, Cody Rhodes. I want to help him. I want to help him. And uh, he remembers family because this is what this is all about. It's family. Rock made it clear. Yeah, he's put that family tree up. So he put that family tree up. Mm-hmm. He made it clear by calling Cody Rhodes' uh, father, whatever he called him, which triggered Ro- Cody Rhodes to say, "Hey, you say Jimmy Jay's your brother, but where is Jay? Where that he was? That he went on to say that his ancestors would be ashamed of you. Oh yeah, yeah. his the God, your grandfather, the grandfather, your grandfather would be of you too. Yep, and." Good All of stuff. a sudden, a slap. I'm telling you, Jimmy and Jay will fight. Jay will be down at the ring on day two. Jay, Jay has the decision to make. And blood's thicker than water, guys. And he's going to go and help us um, interfere somehow. And it's going to be a dis- DQ for Roman Reigns. The bloodline will be together. They're going to move on to beat Hogan's record. And Cody's going to be left with a win for sure. But everybody's going to say, well, that didn't finish the story. I, now we I don't got disagree months. with that scenario. But I disagree with Jay turning heel. Okay. I don't think he's going to do it. No, he's got a good push right now. right now. And they, they've got a good thing with him being a face. So they're not going to, he's not going to jump to heel again. Because that will build up a bigger story with him in the bloodline as well. <laughs> going further. Well, I could see that. I mean, I could definitely see that because they're brothers and they make sense. They make more sense together. You know what I mean? So I can definitely see that scenario. The the one thing that I struggle with is how I don't. And again, I was skeptical last year, but I don't know how they can keep it alive. So if he doesn't win the the title, like if he wins by DQ, I feel like that's still going to leave people with bad taste in their mouth. and. They're like, well, we'll set it up for SummerSlam, but when when are people eventually just going to be like, no, oh, we're not going to watch because we keep waiting for somebody to end the reign and Cody's the guy and and so you know what I mean? It's like, I, but, but I, I was wrong. I was wrong last year. They were able to build it back up again this year. So, but we're leaving one person out of this scenario. So I have another scenario. Okay. Um, there's a massive beat down. Everybody's got, you know, Cody's got his people. Roman Reigns has the family. There's beat downs, beat downs, beat downs, beat downs. Whoever, I don't care. Put Moxley in there. I don't give a crap. Um, (laughs) (laughs) but there's a beat down and Roman Reigns is left laying, but so is Cody. Down comes Mr. Money in the Bank. Oh, 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 wow. Cash is in. Becomes the world champion. Now Ro- Roman Reigns is done. Now we set up Cody Rhodes going after. Again, he doesn't have to finish the story with Roman Reigns. All he everybody wants is him to have that belt. So now, or or Damian Priest shows up at Elimination Chamber and be, and cashes in, setting up Roman or Damian Priest and Cody Rhodes somewhere. I'm just saying you can't forget about Damian Priest. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna I think, that. I think Damian's going after the uh, world title on Raw. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, I think Possibly. he's going after that one. And but, I, I'm gonna say this, everybody could disagree. I, we all got our difference in opinion. Cody's winning the belts at WrestleMania. I'm sticking so with that one. Here here's here's a scenario that I've been doing for two years that I've been wanting to happen for two freaking years. They should have done it with Austin Theory, and he would have been top heel of the company. I'm pissed that they didn't. They wasted that money in the bank on the U.S. championship, which I thought just opened a now a huge can of worms. Mm -hmm. But do it with Damian Priest. Cody wins. But specifically does not get to hold the title. Before he's about to touch the title, Damian Priest comes down, beats him with the briefcase, cashes it in, 
and beats Cody right there in the middle of the ring. Nine years later, another WrestleMania heist. Wow. That but be this good. time, the story is I have to do – I have to finish my story now. I finished my father's. I won the title that he never that he never won but got the hold. Now I have to hold the title that I got to win but never held. Hmm. Like that. That'd be a good I swerve. Like that, one. that would be a good swerve. And plus when Seth did it, I think that match was I don't think that match was done yet, was it? No, it was between in the Brock and the Roman. The match. Yeah. yeah, they were just laid and then he came out and just stole it. So but they, after they beat the crap out of each other, so I like that idea. They the match is over, Cody's won and doesn't even get to touch him. Yep. <laughs> then Davey comes him. out. And they should have done it with theory. And I'm pissed that they didn't because they could have ran with that between Cody and Theory, and they would have had great matches going forward. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because realize that Damian Priest had multiple times he could have cashed that in on anything. Yeah. They mm -hmm. also, I feel, I feel they also did an article in. on WWE that Damian Priest cannot cash in on Rollins till he's medically cleared. Mm. Well, and that's why I'm uh, whoever mm. Rollins is going against. At WrestleMania, he's losing the belt. Uh -huh. he, he's he's going to go on medical leave. He's going to get taken care of his, you know, take care of his back. But then whoever beats him, Damian cashes in on. Yeah, it's going to be Drew. I got a feeling awesome. it's going to be Drew. Honestly, mm. it's supposed and to be that, Punk, but it's going to be Drew. That's another one. Same scenario. You can do the same exact same scenario. Drew won the match, but never got to hold the title, and now he's even more pissed off. And he's like, "God damn it! This company keeps on screwing me." <laughs> I think you're. I think you're right, Cody. I think that. Yeah. You know, why doesn't I mean, WWE eat that up? They want to piss fans off. They, oh yeah. Why? Oh yeah. Why? Oh yeah. Because that's a money because, maker. People yeah. come back. Yeah. But again, they they could run with your idea, Scott, and do a DQ or countout. And here's the problem, though: to beat Hogan's record, it's in the middle of September. They don't have a pay per view yet in the middle of September. Mm -hmm. The last announced pay per view is Brawl in Berlin, and that is August 31st, literally the last day of August. Then Roman only needs to hold the title, I think, three weeks after that. So mm. it, it it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard for them to justify keeping it till after a major Berlin pay per view. I Which yeah, they could they could have Gunther challenge him for it at that point. Yeah, but what are you going to do? I mean, I I think every, I mean I get passionate about it. Obviously, earlier about Roman not losing it. What I I am I I, I don't get me wrong. I think Cody Rhodes is phenomenal. I don't, I'm not saying I never said he wasn't. I think he got screwed over the first year. He was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said yeah. it all the time. I think they. I, yeah. I think they went down the wrong road. Mm -hmm. But I think they did it because they had to keep the story, the bloodline story, going. I get that. Which is smart. Which is smart. But, but for I business, just, yeah. I just think they have too many, too many new pieces now, that just arose with the Rock and his swerve. That because everybody else thought Rock was going to come for Roman Reigns, and now all of a sudden. It got personal because of family, right? Mm -hmm. I do. I think Cody deserves to win. Yeah, I do. I just think, with knowing WWE, I and maybe this will be the, the smartest thing they do to make all you happy, all you um, wrestling fans happy, to finish the story that this WrestleMania and be done with it. But like I asked my brother, how long will he keep the title? Then he's not going to keep it as long as Reigns does. That that title is going to be on in maybe six months. No, yeah. If that it, he he'll probably have two or three defenses, and then on the fourth defense, it's going to be changing mm -hmm. hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I yeah. you know oh, I love hey. his I love his entry music. I pop all the time when I hear uh whatever that is you know his entry music. Yeah. But I just think I don't think it's I don't think <coughs> chaos chaos creates cash, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to have a bunch of chaos at that WrestleMania. Oh, that easily. Is, that's going to create a lot of cash because, and that's why I don't think the story is going to end because they, they want more money. Okay. Well, okay. So here's my question then. If Cody doesn't, even if it's a DQ count out victory, if Cody does not have that belt in his hands, other than Damian Priest screwing him out of it, 
is Cody still a monumental baby face? Or does I, that ride die at four? I don't think it dies, but I think it will hurt. Like it will put a big damper in it because now you have all that momentum and it just went. Yeah. Right? yeah and that it, it could come close to dying. Yeah. And just, that's the thing is like he's, he's so, he's so unbelievably over. And Roman is at a different, he's at a different level. And you got to think too, it's like, who else, who else are you going to put those titles on or that title on that Roman has? Because they have to be able to carry, they got to be able to carry the company. Like, even though I know Roman's not there as huge pop, you alluded to, he's not always there, but he's a draw. He's a draw, yes. man. When he shows up, that's business. And and you got to have the right person from a business perspective to put that title on or those titles on that's going to carry the company in his place. That's why Cena kept hanging around and hanging around because they were trying to fight. They were trying to get Roman to do it back then. They were trying to find the right person so that Cena could finally back off and then go do the other things that he wanted to do. Like, mm -hmm. you got to have a draw. You've got to have a draw. Cody's a draw. I think I personally, I think if he doesn't do it, that hurts him. Let's take it back to AEW. Two, three years ago, two and a half years ago. Okay. When Cody was a face. Arn Anderson steps in the ring. And what did he tell Arn? What did Arn say to him? You're he, he discredited the fact that he's a face. He goes, You need to be basically you need to be a heel. And go get what you want. I feel Cody, when Cody gets the title, he's going to be a heel. He's going to turn mm -hmm. heel and he's going to get it because that, I mean, I, that, that, that conversation that Arn Anderson had in the um, ring where he had that, you know, he made the fake gone and, you know, you need to go get it. You need to stop being a puss, basically, and get mean and go get what you want. Do whatever it takes to get it. I think you're going to see a, a, a heel turn Cody before you see him have the title. I really do. Hmm. Well, before, uh, sorry, I just, we've been talking about the Cody and Roman for a minute now. Yeah. Um, so I was going to throw two things at you guys, just see maybe what you thought about this. I don't know if it'll happen, but, but what, it, would it be good company wise? LA Knight takes over the U S title. And AJ Styles takes over to Intercontinental. The one person to finally beat Gunther. You'd have yeah. to get AJ over on Raw, but yeah, that'd be okay. No, yeah, build it up. Like build up that, that feud right there. Ooh. Ooh. Like AJ that. holding a belt is never a bad idea, but Gunther is like he's he's just solid. That's chan everything that does no. that dude does is just good. And okay, he so is, but that's why you have somebody that's top tier like AJ to actually you know take them. Okay, but do you top. need someone top tier like AJ? No. Because in, in my mind, and this is this is my observation, Jay Uso now is Booker T in WCW 2000. Yeah. Okay, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. So why not have Jay Uso as probably unbelievable in kayfabe as possible, that could be Gunther. Why not have him be Gunther? Because James and they had, had a good exchange too. They had a good exchange when they were, you know, you know, kind of cutting promos on each other. That was good stuff. That was really good stuff. So, eh. but like I said, Jimmy's going to mess that up for him. So, and that's going to create their match for WrestleMania. <laughs> Well, what about? Which I'm okay with. Where are you going to put? Uh, I mean, where are you going to? You're, you're going to bring back Randy Orton, and what are you going to do with him? That's the other thing. He's That's, he's already stressed. He's qualified. going for a title. Mm. He's going for a title. Now, he hasn't said which one, but he said he's going for a title. Yeah, I do like whoever said Jimmy at, or Jay Uso as uh, beating Gunther. I like that. That would give another. Like that would get another belt. Hear me out. Another belt to the Roman Reigns bloodline. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Do not, I mean, we've been swerved by verbiages, right? We've been swerved by wrestlers' verbiages. Yeah. Could, could this, could this happen? We have Seth Rollins talking to uh, Cody Rhodes about, I'll have your back. The shield, I'll be the, I'll be your shield. Made several references. Is it possible that when, and during the chaotic, and chaos in the main event of WrestleMania <laughs> Night 2, Seth Rollins could totally blow everybody away and help Roman Reigns beat the piss out of Cody Rhodes. Dang. Well, it's all I mean, words, that, right? that would be a big swerve. That would be huge. But, but it'd be how... weird. It'd be weird, especially the way that Roman's been burying him. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I should say they've been burying each other verbally. So, you know what I mean? It would be kind of weird, but it would be crazy. But is, a, I, is the burying each other a cover for yeah. having his back? Because he did reference some little brother and he referenced some big brother. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I, you know, that is a very, very good possibility right there. So yep. I, I bring this graphic up because I wanted to see who qualified it already. And the other two that I think are going to qualify are going to be KO and Logan Paul. Mm, okay. Well, A, it's the Australian pay per view. Have a big name. He's a draw. Regardless of what people think, I think he is the best thing for this business since he started. Um, but look at the people in this match already qualified. Orton, Lashley, McIntyre, Knight. Mm-hmm. It, it irritated mm-hmm. me that AJ didn't get in there, but, you know, it is what right. it is. But my question to you is, out of these four already, and if we do assume that it's going to be Paul and KO, who walks out of the chamber for heavyweight title? I, I say Orton or McIntyre. That's where I say uh, I'm going to go on a limb on this one. McIntyre wins it, goes on to face Rollins. Right. Beats Rollins. And then Priest cashes in and takes it. And then Orton challenges him for the belt. Challenges Priest? Yes. Interesting. Hmm. Scott? I am going to go. I mean, yeah, it would make sense because, I mean, you know, you got Drew McIntyre as the humongous, 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 humongous person. But we're talking about burying people. I am going to say um you get, you're going to have to put LA Knight over. He has to he has to sooner or later get his shot and get a title. You can't just you can't just that guy is too good. That guy is too too much money, too good. And I think right. I'd love to see um I'd love to see LA Knight win it. Okay. But I, but realistically, I bet you it's going to be then you got Then I gotta say it's got to be Randy Orton because why bring him back just to do nothing with? So, well, I, my two picks would be Randy Orton or LA Knight. Okay, and Nikki. Mm, Orton will be. Oh, geez, oh, Pete's. I don't know. I always. Well, real quick, what are you thinking, Cody? I just got to say something, man. LA Knight and Logan Paul, something's going to happen in the match, and it's going to create a match between those two. Yeah, Knight's going to eliminate Paul. That That's yeah. going to be the setup. Yep, and that's going to get them to fight each other, and Knight will take that belt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least that's, that's, that's the way I have it set up in my mind, is that it's going to be Paul and Knight for the U.S. title, regardless. Mm-hmm. Yep. At WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And LA Knight's going to walk out U.S. champion, because Logan Paul is the greatest, is, is a great foil for LA Knight. Mm-hmm. But Nikki, what were you gonna say? Well, I was gonna say, what about what about Bobby Lashley? What about Bobby Lashley? Yeah, you can't can't just because the last yeah. time he remember when he was in the championship picture, it ended in that weird way. 
at the elimination chamber, if I remember right. Yeah, there he, was like got, some, he eliminated himself. Yeah, it was like it was like he was injured and then he went out, you know, and then you know, that was when Brock had his in his thing and all that stuff. And then Lashley was just like not really used right yeah. after that. Dude, I love Bobby Lashley. And I just I look at this and I lo I love everybody that's in the match right now, but why not Bobby Lashley? So here's here's a great uh footnote that you just mentioned. Uh Lashley is the current Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. Mm -hmm. So, and this is going to be the worst scenario. Um, I think what they're going to do with Orton is give him that. Oh, the, the Andre Royal. the Giant. Oh. I think they're going to give him the Battle Royal, honestly. Wow. It, it, as much as a step down as that would be. That's a step would, down. He, he would be a big name on that trophy. He would. He would. But what, what about, sorry, what about if anybody to take it from Gunther, Randy Orton? Hmm. Again. Give me, give me a reason why that wouldn't work. Well, one, and I get that these qualifying matches are both happening on SmackDown and Raw, but the whole quote-unquote brand split. Well, that doesn't, you know that doesn't matter anymore because they say that, but guys would jump over. Like, Randy could go to Raw and start yeah. with anybody, and no one would ever say anything. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's not like it used to be. I would, I would be the only one bitching and be like, this is not gaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say, like, they've done it so many times. Oh, no, you're on this brand. No, you're in this brand. But somehow yeah. – it always crosses. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like right now, they're crossing for both the men and the women because of the qualifying matches, which which I completely understand because you're putting both Raw and SmackDown guys mm -hmm. to figure out who's going to fight for the world title because we just had the Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. Elimination Chamber is a close second to the Rumble. It's going to be the same thing. You're going to put both SmackDown and Raw guys in there. I get it. So you need to figure out who's going to be in there. But other than that, they keep the this – portion of the brand split has been pretty well protected other than the judgment day going back and forth on SmackDown and raw because they have the titles. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, it's been, it's been pretty decent. So what about, can we go to the women's real quick? Yeah. Give me one second. Because I, I'm just dying and, and it's irritating the crap out of me. I need to see Jade do something. You bring her back for the Royal Rumble, and we just haven't even seen her at all. She better be in this match. She's not even in the qualifiers. She's not even in the qualifiers at all. No, not at all. Wow. Uh, because in the qualifiers. I didn't see the matches who's facing each other, so I can't remember. Uh, well, there's only two more qualifiers left. And whoever loses in those two qualifiers will end up in a five-way battle royal to determine the last qualifier. Mm -hmm. Whereas the men's have six qualifiers and there's no battle royal at the end. So they couldn't do it for the women because they just don't have 12 women that are good enough to fucking be in the chamber. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So what were, um, Cody, read off to me the last matches. Qualifying matches. Uh, give me one second. I can figure that out in a second. Because I, I was really, and I, it was just the hope in me was hoping that you would have Bianca eliminate Jade or Jade eliminate Bianca. And it builds up that. Oh, so you could build that feud. Yeah. Because they already had a little bit of a moment at Royal Rumble that everybody's dying. To see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me check. I, I think that's they're gonna build that to one day be a mania match. It not not this soon though. Not this soon. It's too early. But but do you agree that Jade has to do something? You gotta do something. It has to do something. I think she's she's got everything, you know, like like Bianca. Um, but I think it's too <laughs> soon, maybe, to for that type of a push. That's just my opinion. But I don't know. They could. Well, because Bianca, I, I, you got to agree with me. You pretty much, 
I mean, I'm not saying she's going to win, but it may be looking like Becky's going to win at Elimination Chamber. And so where does that leave Bianca? You can't, you, you got to have somebody as superstar as Bianca in a match at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. You just have to. I don't know that. I don't. Um, I don't know that Bianca doesn't win this. You know what, though. I hope she doesn't. I don't. I don't. She just has everything it takes. You she. Got the Bianca I don't know. Hater down there. <laughs> I, she has everything it takes. I. I. She just. I. You think champion. You know, and mm-hmm. and that's what you see. But but I talked about it before. She doesn't need to have a title though. She's right. pretty good without it. Right, I think Cargill would be way better than the ch- of choice over uh, Bianca Belair or whatever her name is. Mm. I, just think, it, it, I just no, I think Cargill has what it takes. I think Cargill is. Uh, <coughs> yeah. What is? What did she go sixty and one or what right. was her? I I would not be I would not be against Cargill and and Bianca being the last two in the ring at the elimination chamber and Cargill just destroy her. What what was uh Jade's uh, record in AEW? She had one loss and that was against um Stadlin. Chris. Stadlin. Um I can't remember how many wins she had, but I'm just like you had she had such momentum. She only had one loss. And you bring her in, like you gotta just we gotta utilize her. Yeah, you got to utilize her. It's killing me. That's what the problem is. It's yeah, you me. definitely have to utilize her, and she's a great talent. I I think they build. They would have to build that up. They they would. They would have to build it up. I mean, like, because uh, I was I was waiting for it. I got so happy hearing about it, and I couldn't wait when AJ first made his appearance at the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. I couldn't wait, and they built it up. Him and John Cena had one of the best SummerSlam matches of all time. Did. That was freaking awesome. And it, just, they just got to do something like that. Yep. So. Right. so to answer your question, uh, the last two remaining matches are, it looks to be uh, Tiffany Stratton or Shotzi versus uh, Trinity or or Naomi, I should say. I'm sorry. Naomi or Selena Vega. And then the loser of those two matches will go in a battle royal with Zoe Stark, Meacham, and Shayna Baszler. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Right. That's, and the fact that's that irritating Jade the crap out of me. <laughs> well, I think that Bianca's going to lose. We need somebody to work. And I think that it's going to be Bianca versus Jade Cargill at WrestleMania. Now, I hope so. What if Jade, because it's hard to get into that match, but what if Jade somehow interrupts and distracts her, makes her lose? Okay, so. You could do something like that, maybe. I mean, Logan Paul screwed Seth Rollins exactly. last year, so. That's what I'm saying. Anything that can makes happen. makes sense. Anything can happen, yep. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, and like there's, just, there's so much to right. talk about for Chamber because there's also we have uh Judgment Day versus yeah. Mustache Mountain. Whenever we have tours and stuff, I notice that he doesn't drive the Corvette. Uh, right. Tyler Bates and Pete Dunn. Flex. Right. Oh, yeah. Which is going to be a great, I think that's going to be Chris, a great tag team match. That match may team steal team. the damn show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that, you know, I. <laughs> Nikki D, we were talking about it, and I, I guess I, I sometimes I missed it. I missed when he officially oh. he's done. Yeah, I was watching the next episode. I was like, hey, "What did I miss?" I was like, "Oh man, it's about time, man." So sick. That was one of the worst ideas creative had. Let's bring this guy up from the from NXT, who everybody on the planet knows is Pete Dunne. He's worked on the main roster. Let's call him Butch. Like so stupid. What, it, was like the, uh, Matt, Matt, it was like the uh Max or not Maxine, but um <laughs> yeah, <it was> like, <laughs> Ma- the Maxine Max models Maxine Dupree. Max Dupree yeah. or Max Dupree, yeah. yeah. Um I'm not gonna lie. I- I'm prob- probably the odd one out. Um I enjoyed Pete Dunn as Butch. Okay, I'm not gonna out. lie. Oh my gosh. 
I, I did. I, you did me, I thought it. I thought it gave him. I thought it gave him more can. <laughs> well, he loaded it. Actually, did. Yeah, I. Um, I thought it gave him more character. But well, he's talking again. Mission specialist. Well, I just because of he did roll with it the best he could, but yeah, that's Pete Dunn, man. <laughs> that is officially Pete. But, but no, like you said, Cody, that's going to be a great tag team match. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that really is. And then obviously oh, yeah. Rhea and Nia. Yeah. Is going to be the home steal, like the hometown oh. show. Yeah. That place and is going to go crazy. Finger crossed, Nia Jack sits on her face and just fucking kills her <laughs> and just gets the title. <laughs> Not going to um, happen. He's going to lose that at WrestleMania if she loses it at all. Right. I got to, I got to get going real quick. But I have one other thought I had. I want to run it by you guys. Um. So the Rock is obviously in supposed to be in Roman Reigns' corner. Mm -hmm. What is the likeliness? Of uh, Paul Heyman getting frustrated that Rock is now speaking for Roman Reigns because he is. Um, what is the possibility that Paul Heyman swerves us all and turns on Roman Reigns, causing Roman to drop the belt and do what you guys want, have help Cody Rhodes win the belt and become Cody Rhodes' new manager, just like an Iron Anderson? There you go. That's the only way I want to see Cody Rhodes win the belt is for Paul Heyman to dick over Roman Reigns. Wow. Well, I, I that that that's not a bad idea, honestly. But the next Paul Heyman guy is going to be Braun Breaker. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, that makes could sense. It, but could it be Cody Rhodes to start so with? No. No. no, Cody nah. Rhodes is such such a a baby face and has said so much against Paul Heyman. That it doesn't make sense for him right. to join Paul Heyman. Gotcha. Well, I'm just saying, what Paul? What if Paul Heyman turns on Roman Reigns, causing him to lose? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, be shocked by it because I think that that would actually be decent. But yeah, but yeah, guys, I, but he wouldn't join Cody. But wow, that'd be crazy. I think we're I gonna. I think we're in for one hell of a night too. Yep. And I think mm -hmm. nobody really knows what they what's going to happen. And I think that's a good thing. Yes, I think this is probably going to be one of the biggest builds to a WrestleMania 40. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, oh, and yeah. it's just like it's going to go. It's going to be crazy. And I'll probably be like I was against in the Super Bowl, pick the loser, and I'll probably get an ice bath like I did in the Super Bowl. So we're oh, going to yeah. make. A, so let's make a bet. Right? Pick, not only did you pick the loser, you said they were going to be 15 points ahead. So Ooh, here we I, go. I just said three points ahead. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the bet. I obviously got Roman Reigns winning. I don't care how it is, it he's gonna win. I don't have a dog in the fight, honestly. <laughs> no. So if I am wrong, I'll have two pitches of ice water and I'll pour it over all at the end of WrestleMania and I'll say I am the suckiest freaking uh wrestling fan ever. Huge pop wrestling podcast takes the water. But you guys got to promise me that I would get a video once Cody Rhodes doesn't finish the story. The okay, thing. how about this? The same thing. We we have to we have to specify this. If Cody Rhodes loses, whoever picks Cody Rhodes, and if he loses, they do the ice water thing. If Roman Reigns loses. You do the ice water thing, right? But if it's a draw, if it's a draw, DQ this, or count nothing, out, nothing, nothing. Cody Rhodes has to win, legitimately win the belt. Like you guys are gonna say, okay. yeah. Are you confident enough to put an I'm ice water, <laughs> an ice bath on top? Of, oh, at the I'm end of the very show. confident to put that ice bath uh, on. All there. right, bet. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, so you two could do that. I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm in it just to see the match. <laughs> He'll be the All camera right. guy just recording. <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Huge pop. It's yep. been a real good fun night, guys. I thank you, D, uh, Cody, um, Rick, Rick, as always. Uh, thank you for being part of the Huge Pop Wrestling Podcast. I will say this like I say it all the time, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, Rico, Nikki D, and Cody. Um, you guys are helping me keep a dream going. Something I love started two years ago 
and I live for Monday and Tuesday nights. I really do. Um, and I appreciate Rico, your calls, Nikki D, your text message, Cody, your comments always on my in my messenger. I appreciate you guys helping me keep a dream alive that my brother and I started two years ago. I call you guys family, huge pop wrestling fans. These are my boys. We're going to roll through WrestleMania. There's going to be confrontation. There's going to be disagreements. There's going to be, that's what makes us fans. That's what makes this show good. Um, and if anybody watches this, they need to continue subscribing to the YouTube channel yep. because we're going to put out some good content. We always do. There's some interviews coming up. Um, I will say this. I'm in the works of getting Greg the Hammer Valentine to come on. Um, so that's going to be huge. So if anybody heard that on this show, I'm working on that. Um, so it's going to be a fun year, 2024. Cody, thank you for doing the back um, stage stuff. No um, problem. Plus, you know, joining us on our Tuesday show when we talk Raw and um, WrestleMania stuff. Rico, again, man, I cannot tell you how much I love you. You're my brother-in-law. You're my brother. You're my baby's uh, grandfather as well. There's a special tie. Yeah, Nikki D, man, go blue. You guys are amazing people. I thank you guys again. I, I'll say it over and over. Thank you for coming on, taking a chance on the Huge Pop Wrestling Podcast and being part of the team. You guys are, make, you guys are what makes this show that much better. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. So. And that's Huge Pop Wrestling Podcast. Cody, if you can cue the music, yep. we're done. All my dogs, make some noise up in this house. Who is in the house? Who is in the house? It's the gangster of destruction, so you know what's going down. And when the drive-by's coming, then you better hit the ground. Cause when your body hits the canvas, then your ass is knocked out. Who is in the house? Who is in the house? It's the gangster of destruction, so you know what's going down. And when the drive-by's coming, then you better hit the ground. Cause when your body hits the canvas, then your ass is knocked out. Like with Adrian Whisper, it's like a fight with the devil. Because when he's dealing with you, you cannot get on this level. Fight with Adrian Whisper, it's like a fight with a king. It's like a fight with an army, they got the tanks and everything He's leaving bruises and stitches, possibly leaving you crippled Cause when he sets up the table and sends you straight through the middle Take the dead decree, beat that ass with a light bulb Leave a piece of glass embedded in the back of your skull Who is in the house? Who is in the house? It's the gangster of destruction, so you know it's going down And when the drive-by's coming, then you better hit the ground Cause when your body hits the canvas, then your ass is knocked out Who is in the house? Who is in the house? It's the gangster of destruction, so you know it's going down And when the drive-by's coming, then you better hit the ground Cause when your body hits the canvas, then your ass is knocked out